Hey everybody, welcome to Well. How you guys doing today? You know, it's uh, um, it's finally start, starting to be warm, so that's awesome. Praise God. Um, it's 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 a beautiful beautiful day in the in the in the in the woods, and you, know, you hear the tractors and everything working in the fields, and you know, it's just really a you know a beautiful day from the countryside. You know, and I think um. You know, sometimes you got to really stop and just appreciate, you know, nature. You know, the natural creation of God. Um, and say, well, you know, you know, in these days when we got to get our bodies together and everything and get our lives together and so much going on and everything, you just got to really appreciate, you know, what you know what God has really, you know, done and what he's doing, and, you know, and, you know, on our part, you know, in, in his creation. So, I mean, it's it's... It's really interesting, you know. There's a lot of things happening right now. Obviously, you know, we all we all, you know, are faced with a great amount of um different different um you know toils in our life. You know, each one of us, you know, we're we're we all have we all have our set of difficulties. But the reality of it is, is you know, we have a this is an opportunity. This is actually an opportunity. This is one of the greatest opportunities, you know, you know, that, that we've seen in a long time. And that's how we have to approach it. You know, this is the opportunity of, of, you know, recreating ourselves. This is the opportunity that we have to learn, to, to grow, to, to, you know, to, to reevaluate and, and to, to, unlearn some bad habits and learn some new habits you know this is a, this is a pretty awesome time but you know some you know you know learn some new skills learn some new skills learn some new you know you know tap into some new environments ooh big one tap into some new environments you know when i say you know you know environments just think just just look at the the you know the the of hand of god you know in his creation you know and just think about you know where you're at you know at this present time you know where you've been at you know where you're going to in the future and just just consider you know that 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 there is a lot more of the world to see and to tap into that god has created than what you've seen and what you're seeing and so when you think um you know okay what about what am i doing what do i need to do going forward well hey you know just you know stop and take stock take stock, you know, and say, hey, well, you know, God has created, you know, a lot of opportunities around us. And, and like I say, now is one of those times when we have the opportunity to really, you know, all of us have the opportunity to, to take advantage of it, take advantage of it. And this is a time to, you know, like I say, you know, learn that new skill. You know, learn that new that new thing that you've been thinking about doing that you haven't got to learn that. This is a time. I mean, because here's the thing, you know, we're coming, we're coming, you know, in the history of man, we've moved to a place where, you know, when society makes great shifts, you know, we're not forced most times to 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 conform to the the. the you know the total shift of of the whole environment now not to say that these things you know aren't 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 making their way back but you know hey you know you know this not this is not you know 19 19 you know 45 when you know everybody has to you know move the same direction in order to affect um a massive change you know now we have we have a lot of opportunities to make massive changes in smaller collectives and groups and even in, in our individual selves that help to affect the whole. And, and, and so, you know, we got to take take advantage of that and, you know, really thank God that that, you know, we don't have to be completely broken in order to rebuild. And that's the thing to take to heart. You know, so to, today on well, you know, I really want to focus on, you know, you know, we have the opportunity to rebuild without completely being broken. And as, as, as the human species, you know, we're not, we're not big on making big changes without, without 
things breaking in, in major ways. And I want you to really take that to heart. You know, things should not have to fall all the way apart for, for you to make changes, for me to make changes, for us to make changes. You know, that's not <laughs> sure. You know, some of us, you know, respond great. You know, when the, when the heat is on, that's when we, you know, really, you know, turn, you know, kicking afterburners. But no, we can't. No, we got to stop doing that. You know, the reality of it is, is, you know, we have to develop a process within ourselves that we're that we're in a continual growth process to where, you know, things don't have to go horribly bad for 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 me to um, for me to make a change. You know, somebody doesn't have to, you know, get sick or somebody doesn't have to you know get fired in order to in order to make that big shift in their life. You know, you know, somebody doesn't you know, we don't have to you know have a have a, a national disaster, you know, for for everybody to lock arms and really come together. We don't have to have a, a natural disaster, you know, um, uh, you know, an act of God happen for us to, you know, you know, strengthen our homes and strengthen our homesteads and so forth. We don't have to do that anymore. You know, we have enough, you know, we have enough understanding. We have enough knowledge. We have enough wisdom. We have enough access to enough to where we can avoid having to be completely broken in order to, in order to, you know, build and to, 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 you know, shift, you know, focus and to, to reskill and so forth. So, you know, just take the time and say, well, you know, hey, you know, this is really an awesome time we have if we're, if we're, you know, if we're honest with ourselves and say, hey, you know, okay, you know, let me reskill. Let me, let me, let me go learn some new things. Let me go, you know, you know, this is one of those times as adults, take this to heart though. If you're an adult right now, the option to not, you know, reskill is really off the table. You know, take it now. This is the forewarning before you're forced into a position where you have to reskill at some point and at something. You know, this is the time when you have the choice to, okay, I'm a, I'm gonna learn a new skill. I'm a, you know, I'm gonna read a new article. I'm a, you know, you know, I'm gonna see another perspective or something. You know, this is the time. You know, as a culture, we're moving to a place where we have to, you know, learn how to interact with each other, you know, in spite of, you know, our differences, in spite of our, our disagreements, in spite of, you know, the things that we don't, you know, have shared interests in and so forth. But we still have to learn how to work together and put that together. And I think, you know, one common, one common, you know, um, theme to right now no matter what side of the track you're standing on, on whatever the issue, one common theme that's emerging is we're, you know, we're, we're, we're the theme of, you know, that's, you know, we have to come to a, to, 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 a, to a point of communication to where we can actually have a, have a, you know, a communicable situation to where we can actually talk to where we can actually communicate when we actually share, you know, ideas, viewpoints, even though we don't disagree, we don't agree, even though we're not, you know, we don't have the same shared interests, even though, but we have the common, the common thread of being God's creation. We have the common thread of being human. We have the common thread that we have to link to. And then we have to, you know, in any relationship, let's be honest, any relate, there's no such thing as a relationship that doesn't have barriers in it. I don't care who it is or what it is, whether it's your children, whether it's your spouse. You know, there there are points where you just do not agree with one another, but you work together. You work together. You you work through it. You work to you know some things you compromise on, some things you just agree to agree to you know understand about the other one. You know, and, you know I I agree. You agree that that we're not going to agree on this, and but we and we live together and we cohabitate. This is natural. This is God's creation. This is this is what is this is what it is to live in a fallen world. You know, now you know we can get into the word. You know, I love the word of God, and I mean, but this is what it is to live in a fallen world. You know, and this is and so that being said, you know, we have to really take our time and say, okay, what am I going to learn today? You know, what what you know what opportunities is today giving me? You know, you know what 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 do I see? you know, that I have opportunity, you know, to see today in this, in this grand thing that God is doing that's different than I did, than I saw before, or then, you know, that I'm used to what different environment can I go into? What, you know, what, what can I, you know, 
What different, you know, world can I subject myself to? What different viewpoints can I stop and listen to? Can I, you know, stop and digest today? You know, can I do different? What can I do different? You know, what can I do different than what I normally do in order to affect the change, in order to affect, you know, a result that's different from what I'm, what I, what I typically get, what I always get, the norm, the usual, you know, the usual, the, <laughs> the, the, the status quo. You know, everybody's complaining about this and complaining about that. You know, what can I do different today that keeps me from, you know, not complaining, not being part of the problem, but working to be part of the solution? And that's the thing. Are you working to be part of the solution or are you working to maintain the problem? You know, because you're doing one or the other. I'm just going to be honest with you. You, me, we, we all doing one or the other. We're either, you know, working to, you know, perpetuate, you know, the, the solution or we're working to, to, to continually, you know, perpetuate the, 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 the problem. We're doing one or the other, period, period. You know, you're either on this side or you're on that side. Now, if you're part of the problem, okay, guess what? You know, society's got a place for you. You know what I'm saying? Society's got a place for you. That's not always bad. Sometimes you don't just get over there and sit down and don't touch nothing. That might be, that might be, that might be you. I mean, I don't know, you know, hey, you know, you might be the person that gets to, you know, sit over there and just don't touch nothing. Just, just don't touch nothing. That might be you. I don't know. But if that's not you, you know, if you're part of the solution, you know, be part of the solution. You know, be part of the, 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 you know, the growth process. Be part of the, you know, the, the, the inviting, you know, and, and, and creating and, and developing and growing and reskilling and retooling and, you know, just be part of, you know, be, be, you know, that one, be that one that, that's, you know, adding to and not taking away. But, you know, so say, well, you know, today on well, we just took this chance to say, hey, you know, this, this is a, you know, a beautiful opportunity that we all have opportunity to share in right now. And and I take I tell you, you know, out here, you know, you know, food by the word country, you know what I'm saying? You know, change is an everyday process. Learning new things, trying to do new things, trying to, you know, do things we've never done every day, day in and day out. No day is the same, you know. And then as we travel back and forth, you know, to Indianapolis, you know, or off to Fort Wayne or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's never the same and it's good to go into, you know, you know, foreign environments, you know, and to, to see, you know, you know, interact with people in, 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 in different places and so forth. So you can see the points of views, you know, that you, that you don't personally share, but you see why, where you see the culture, you get a vibe, you know, you get, you know, you get an understanding, you get an understanding and then you take that and then you put that with, you know, how you see and understand things. And but take the time to learn that that, you know, your point of view is not the only point of view. You know, there's almost eight billion people in the world right now. And guess what? That's a lot of different perspectives, period. You know, that's a lot of different perspectives. And yours is one of them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just keep that in mind. And yours is an important perspective, but it's one out of eight billion perspectives. And the reality of it is, is, you know. God has created all of these 8 billion perspectives, you know, to work in unison in some which way, shape or form. Because even like back to nature, you know, just behind me, there's a million different, you know, bugs, if not more. It's probably a billion different bugs that you don't see, but they're back there working, you know, and given, given any time, you know, they'll, they'll bite you. They'll, they'll come over here. They'll come crawling on you, whatever. But they're all out there working in their role, in their part. You know, that's the one thing. The more beautiful the scenery, the more you know that there's a lot naturally at work there, it's probably dangerous. So talk to you later. God bless you.